this video we will see how to create a list populate a list and delete elements from a list in java okay so here i am using an admins id for this thing you can use any of your choice id okay so here what i have done is i have created a simple java application standard application so here it creates a simple template file for this thing now i need to create a form for this thing so here i will create a form using jframe form let's call it home form okay so it will create a design form directly what you have to do is place the objects that you need on this form so here uh, let's take this down a bit so here you need to place your gui elements so here i will place a label first to enter text mm, text field okay so here it's a simple text field that will take the input okay txt inb okay so here what i will do is i will take input from the user and that input will be added to a list okay so here i will take a list okay let's make this form a bit larger okay and the list bit smaller okay <coughs> So here I will place the list and here I will place a button between those two things mm, button here you have to choose the simple button not the toggle button or the radio button okay so here I will name this button add item okay and let's change this to btn add okay and let's call the list jls list simple okay so here whenever we talk about the list we need to remember that list comes with a module okay so to populate a list or to delete the elements from a list you need to manipulate or perform data operations on its model so what we need to do here is clear the default model here that is given with this thing okay and click okay and here i will also place a delete button okay so for the delete button i will write here delete item okay so here btn del so let's save this thing and what you need to do is create a default list model so default list model is a class that helps to populate the list so dlm is equals to new default list model if you are using a combo box then you need to use a combo box model default combo box model so here if you see it will show you the package name directly and you can add this add import for javax.swing.default list model so once this is done what we need to do is we need to manipulate this model so for that thing we need to take input from this thing and using this button will interact with this thing so on this buttons click so here you can go from here uh, when i click on this button add item this item should be added to the list so here it's an action event okay so whenever a user clicks on a button it's an action event so here i will create an action event see it has created an action event for me so here what i need to do is txt inp the input that i had taken dot get text okay txt inp is the name of the text field okay so here i will take that thing into the string str x okay you can call it anything you want so here i will add to that thing so i will use the add element function here if you want to add to a list at a given index certain index then you can use the add function but we want to add it directly after the last element so we will use the add element function here because we are not supplying any index to this thing so here after this is done then you have to set the model okay this is adding to that thing after that you need to set model here set model dlm okay <coughs> so here let's see if it works whatever we have done mm, oh sorry i haven't created this thing here so here home form hf is equals to new home form 
so hf dot set visible sorry visible true so now this will show the form let's see see here as you can see so here i will add some text one two three see it is adding these things okay uh, one more thing we can add is like to clear this text after the item is added okay so we'll add this thing into this okay so txt int dot set text here to get the data we will use get text and to set it we will use set text you can set it to null as well but see to it that you set to this uh, empty string okay so here let's see how it works see here it's clearing this text field okay so now what we need to do is finally is to delete items okay so here whether we are allowing multiple selection or single selection depends upon the selection model here selection mode sorry so here you can find it below the model option here so there are basically three uh, you can say three enum or enumerations available here single single interval and multiple interval selection so by single selection it means that you can only select a single element if you set it to single element you can only select a single element okay if you set it to single interval element then you can select multiple elements but only in a single contiguous locations means you can select uh, from 0 to 4 okay and if you are using a multiple selection okay so multiple selection multiple interval selection is like you can select uh, numbers from or you can say objects from 0 to 2 then again you can go to like 8 to 10 or something likewise okay so it need not be contiguous okay so that is the concept behind this thing okay i hope this is clear now so now what we need to do is go into the delete button here we will click on the delete button and now uh, this thing so here what we'll do is we'll now delete the element so for that thing we need to write this thing jls list dot get selected indices okay selected indices see so here if you are allowing only a single index then you should select get selected index if you are allowing multiple selection here i have selected the multiple selections option so what i will do is i will take the get selected indices so this returns an integer array so what i will do is here i will take a integer array of elements that are to be deleted so after i get this array what i will do is i will run a simple loop for this thing for int i equals to 0 i less than ar dot length i plus plus so here after i get this thing what i will do is i will delete these items from the model dot remove and here you will find the index for that thing okay so here you can take the index from here of i okay so this way you have selected the index so after you remove all the elements what you should do is you can set the model once again so that the changes are reflected immediately see here that's what we have done now so let's see if this works now so here let's add some elements so we'll select now we'll add some elements more elements you see so that we can test this thing easily if it works on multiple elements and single elements as well so here i will select a single series thing okay and let's see if it deletes yes it deletes this thing 
Now what I will do is I will do a multiple selection here. I will select these three elements and now we will delete this thing. See it works. So in the other thing that the multiple selection and the single interval selection. Okay, So by single interval selection what they mean is you can select this single interval. You cannot keep a gap between them okay and select these two other things so this is not allowed under the single selection thing but if you are using a multiple selection you can delete it in any way you want okay you have to just hold the control of this thing okay if i select all these elements and i am not releasing my control okay so without releasing the control you have to select all these elements okay once you select all these elements and click delete see i have left an interval between them then also it will delete these things see it has deleted all these things see if your selection is proper then it will delete all the elements okay so that's it so it should work that way okay thank you